Hi everyone, Brian McNichols here from Joint Plans. Today my list is in Animal Kingdom, which is where I am right now, to talk about the top five attractions here. Now, Animal Kingdom is becoming one of my favorite parks. I really, really just love the look of it, the feel of it. The addition of Pandora, I think, helped a lot, especially extending how long you kind of need to be there. Though I would argue it wasn't a half day park before either, but it doesn't have a ton of attractions. But hey, it's got at least five, I guess, right? Coming in at number five, I am here in Dino Land in front of Dinosaur, formerly known as Countdown to Extinction. Dinosaur is a somewhat wild ride through time where you are sent back in time to help retrieve a dinosaur, and surprise, surprise, you do but things don't go exactly as planned because it's a Disney ride. Still, it is a fun ride. It uses a fairly inventive ride system used both here and for the Indiana Jones adventure in Disneyland. It is a little bit dark and a little bit scary for children. There is a 40 inch height requirement to ride Dinosaur, but even at 40 inches, kids may not want to. It does get a little bit intense and a little bit scary and it is pretty dark the whole way through. But it is still an excellent ride, which is why it's on the list. At number four, we have a, something unusual for me, and that's a tie. That's because there are two amazing shows at Animal Kingdom, and one of them is right here, Festival of the Lion King. The other one is Finding Nemo the Musical. Now, my personal preference is for Finding Nemo. It has all original songs written by Robert Lopez and his wife, whose name I always forget. But they are the two behind several Broadway musicals, including Book of Mormon, Avenue Q, and songs of the much more family-friendly Frozen, as well as this. And the songs are fantastic, as is the puppetry. I really, really enjoy this show. But the downside is that it's just in this big green drab building, kind of at this conjunction between Dino Land and Asia. So I have to knock off a half a point for that, right? The Lion King is a great show. It's got acrobats, amazing songs from the movie, and it's in a better location. I mean, it is in this beautiful Harambe village. So that's gotta be a half a point at least, right? Which evens it up into a tie. Coming in at number three is Expedition Everest, which is in that big mountain back there. Everest, obviously. This one is a roller coaster, and as I say every time I talk about it, it's one of the few roller coasters that I can actually kind of follow the story of. You are going on an expedition up Everest, I guess that's where the name comes from, and you encounter a Yeti, which isn't great. But it is both thrilling and has a little bit of a story. It's kind of one of the more perfect Disney thrill rides for that matter. And in Animal Kingdom, it's definitely one of the I guess top three rides. The second best attraction here in Animal Kingdom is the Kilimanjaro Safari behind me. It's not so much a ride as it is literally a safari. You go through pretty much zoo enclosures to see animals, but it's really, really well done. It looks natural. You always get to see a pretty good assortment of animals, and it's a pretty long ride. Disney doesn't really do long rides that much anymore, but that one will take you a good 20 minutes, and you get to sit down and feel the breeze and, you know, see lions and stuff, and it's about the only place you can do that. The best attraction in Animal Kingdom should come as no surprise to anyone. It is Flight of Passage here in Pandora. It is a simulator, but it is easily the best simulator I have ever been on. And I'm not one that loves simulators, to be honest with you. But the story is great. The method that they kind of get you into the Navi Banshee Rider is excellent. Once we do that, you'll be able to link to that avatar and uh, fly. What isn't excellent are the lines. Even now, the sun is coming up and there is still over an hour and a half wait for it. So get here early. I watch my other video that's popping up right here, right now. And make sure you subscribe and leave a comment and like and, you know, stuff that YouTubers tell you to do. Be excellent to each other.